Greetings, space enthusiasts and curious minds. Welcome to Vision Matrix. This channel is your gateway to the enigmatic cosmos, unfurling the mysteries of the universe one video at a time. Do like and subscribe to Vision Matrix. Today we embark on a thrilling journey through the cosmos. The universe, an expanse so vast, it's beyond human comprehension. It's a realm of cosmic wonders where the concept of distance takes on a whole new meaning. Picture this. Our home, the Milky Way galaxy, is just one of over 200 billion galaxies swirling in the cosmic ocean. Each of these galaxies holds billions, even trillions of stars, all scattered across an expanse that stretches over 93 billion light years. Imagine the mind-boggling enormity of these numbers, the astronomical distances between each star, each galaxy. The sheer scale is enough to dwarf anything we know here on Earth, and yet this is the nature of our universe, a place where the term infinity finds its truest expression. It's a humbling realization, isn't it? To know that we are but a tiny speck in the grand tapestry of the cosmos. Now imagine within this vastness countless stars are born and die. Every star you see in the night sky has a story. These tales begin within the expansive gaseous cradles known as nebulae. Here, under the intense pressure and heat, a star is born. As a star matures, it spends most of its life in a stage called the main sequence, where it burns hydrogen to produce helium, radiating light and heat into the cosmos. But nothing lasts forever, not even stars. Eventually the star exhausts its hydrogen supply, marking the beginning of the end. It swells into a red giant and depending on its mass it either gently puffs away its outer layers or explodes violently in a supernova. The remnants, if massive enough, can collapse to form a neutron star or a black hole. These cycles of birth and death, creation and destruction are not just the story of stars but the story of the universe itself. These celestial bodies form the building blocks of galaxies. Galaxies, grand cosmic cities, home to billions of stars. Each one is a unique tapestry woven by the universe, differing in form, size and composition. Let's take a moment to appreciate their diversity. First, we have elliptical galaxies. These celestial bodies are shaped like elongated spheres containing older stars and very little dust or gas. Their uniform luminosity gives them a soft, glowing appearance. Next are spiral galaxies, like our very own Milky Way. These galaxies are characterized by their swirling arms, rich in young, hot stars and abundant in gas and dust. Lastly, we have irregular galaxies. As their name suggests, these galaxies lack a defined structure. They are often chaotic in appearance, filled with gas, dust and a myriad of stars. From the immense glowing ellipticals to the vibrant spirals and the chaotic irregulars, galaxies are as diverse as they are numerous. Within these galaxies exist the enigmatic black holes. Black holes, the universe's most intriguing phenomena, these celestial enigmas are areas in space where gravity is so strong that not even light can escape their clutches. Black holes are born from the remnants of massive stars that collapse under their own gravitational pull, creating a point in space with infinite density known as a singularity. Their properties are so mind-bending that they seem to defy the laws of physics as we know them. Time, for instance, slows down near a black hole. The closer you get, the slower time runs. Imagine a clock falling into a black hole. You'd see it tick slower and slower until it appears to stop ticking altogether. And then there's the event horizon, a point of no return. Once anything crosses this boundary, it is irrevocably pulled into the black hole, yet black holes are not the only mysteries of the universe. Dark matter and dark energy, the unseen forces shaping our universe. Let's take a moment to ponder the mystery that is dark matter. It's an enigma, a silent character in the cosmic play. We can't detect it directly, yet we know it's there. How? It's all down to gravity. The way galaxies spin, the way light bends as it travels through space, all of these point to an unseen mass affecting everything around it. Now, let's turn our attention to dark energy, an equally elusive player. Like a phantom, it lurks in the shadows, yet it's responsible for the accelerating expansion of the universe. Scientists believe it makes up about 70% of the universe. Together, dark matter and dark energy make up the majority of the cosmos, yet remain largely misunderstood. But as we uncover their mysteries, we come one step closer to understanding the universe's grand design. These unseen forces contribute to the universe's constant expansion. 
Our universe is not static, it's constantly expanding. This is a concept that might seem a bit mind-boggling, but it's backed by substantial scientific evidence. The idea was first proposed in the early 20th century by astronomer Edwin Hubble. He observed that other galaxies were moving away from our own Milky Way and at a rate proportional to their distance from us. This phenomenon, known as Hubble's Law, gave birth to the concept of an expanding universe. Over the decades, additional evidence has been gathered, further reinforcing this theory. The cosmic microwave background radiation, for instance, is a remnant of the Big Bang, and its uniform spread across the cosmos attests to our universe's continual expansion. But what does this expansion mean? Well, it implies that our universe is not a fixed entity. It's dynamic, constantly evolving and growing larger. It's a concept that truly highlights the grandeur and mystery of the cosmos. Within this expanding universe, we find our home planets and moons. Planets and moons, the familiar objects in our cosmic neighborhood. Yet these celestial bodies are as diverse as they are numerous. From the raging storms on Jupiter to the icy silence of Pluto, each planet in our solar system has its unique character. Our very own moon, a silent guardian, has been a source of fascination for millennia. Then there are the moons of other planets like Titan, Saturn's largest moon with its methane lakes and thick atmosphere, or Jupiter's moon Europa, hidden beneath a crust of ice, possibly harboring a salty subsurface ocean. Beyond our solar system, we find exoplanets, strange worlds orbiting distant stars. Some of these are super-Earths, planets larger than our home, but smaller than Neptune. Finally, let's not forget the dwarf planets like Eris and Makemake, straddling the boundary between planet and asteroid. These celestial bodies might just hold the key to one of our biggest questions. Is there life beyond Earth? This question has captivated humanity for centuries. The cosmos, vast and mysterious, could potentially harbor life forms unlike anything we've ever seen. Scientists are relentlessly exploring this possibility, using cutting-edge technology to probe the farthest reaches of space. Several planets and moons within our own solar system have conditions that could potentially support life. Mars, for instance, has evidence of past water flows. Jupiter's moon Europa and Saturn's moon Enceladus possess subsurface oceans, suggesting the possibility of aquatic life. But we're not just looking close to home. Scientists are also studying exoplanets orbiting distant stars in the so-called Goldilocks zone, where conditions might be just right for life as we know it. The search for extraterrestrial life is an exciting journey of discovery. It challenges our understanding of life and its place in the universe. Universe. While we search for life, we also continue to explore the universe. Humanity has always sought to explore the unknown. The cosmos, once an enigma beyond our grasp, has slowly been unfurled through our relentless pursuit of knowledge. The 20th century marked a significant era in space exploration. We launched Sputnik, the first artificial satellite, followed by the Luna 2, the first spacecraft to reach the moon. Then, with bated breath, the world watched as the Apollo 11 mission let the first human footprints etch their mark on the lunar surface. In the 21st century, our reach extended even further. The Mars rovers, Spirit, Opportunity and later Curiosity unveiled the Martian landscape to us. And let's not forget the Voyager spacecrafts with their golden records venturing into the interstellar space, a testament to our insatiable curiosity and ambition. But as we have pushed the boundaries, we've also delved into the realm of the theoretical. Concepts like wormholes and time travel, once confined to the pages of science fiction, are now seriously discussed in scientific circles. Wormholes, bridges through space-time, could potentially provide shortcuts to distant parts of the universe. Time travel, still a speculative concept, challenges our understanding of the nature of time itself. These theoretical concepts, while yet to be proven, push our understanding and keep us striving for more. They make us question, they make us dream, and they inspire us to keep exploring. It's this spirit of exploration, this unquenchable thirst for knowledge that propels us forward. As we continue to explore, who knows what mysteries of the universe we will uncover next. Picture this, a star nearing the end of its life, then suddenly it explodes in a supernova. This isn't just a spectacle of cosmic proportions, it's a birthing ground for some of the most intriguing objects in the universe. Neutron stars and pulses. Supernovae, in their dramatic and violent death throes, scatter elements across the cosmos. These elements, once part of the star's core, can coalesce and give rise to neutron stars. 
which are arguably the densest objects in the universe. Imagine trying to compress the mass of our sun into an area as small as a city. That's a neutron star for you. Now let's take it a step further. Some neutron stars spin at a rapid pace, emitting beams of radiation from their magnetic poles. These are we call pulsars. Like cosmic lighthouses, they emit signals at regular intervals, painting a rhythmic picture in the vast canvas of the cosmos. These cosmic phenomena, though violent, contribute significantly to the universe we live in. Gravity, the invisible force that keeps us grounded, also plays a vital role in shaping the cosmos. This unseen puppeteer working on a cosmic scale is instrumental in the creation of solar systems, galaxies, and even clusters of galaxies. Imagine a massive celestial body such as a star, as a bowling ball sitting on a trampoline, creating a dip. This dip is the gravitational pull drawing nearby objects towards it. This is how solar systems are formed. Now picture numerous bowling balls on this trampoline, each creating their own dips and influencing each other's movements. This is how galaxies and clusters of galaxies come into existence. But gravity doesn't stop there. It's also responsible for phenomena such as gravitational lensing, where light from distant stars is bent around massive objects and black holes, where gravity is so strong that not even light can escape. In the grand theater of the cosmos, gravity is the director. Our universe holds an echo of its own creation, the cosmic microwave background radiation. Imagine peering into the depths of time, catching a glimpse of the universe in its infancy. That's precisely what we do when we study this cosmic microwave background radiation, or CMBR for short. The discovery of CMBR was a landmark moment in our understanding of the universe, essentially serving as a snapshot of the cosmos just a few hundred thousand years after the Big Bang. This seemingly faint glow, almost imperceptible, permeates all of space, its uniformity and slight variations providing us with crucial clues about the birth, evolution and ultimate fate of our universe. So next time you gaze up at the night sky, remember that you're not just looking at stars and galaxies, you're also bathed in the afterglow of creation itself. In the form of the CMBR, this radiation is a whisper from the universe's early days, a cosmic baby photo, if you will. Between the stars, there lies a universe within a universe, the interstellar medium. The space between stars is not a barren void. It's filled with a fantastic mix of particles and energy known as the interstellar medium, or ISM. Comprising primarily of hydrogen and helium, the ISM is peppered with a cocktail of molecules, dust, cosmic rays and magnetic fields. Now let's consider the role of the ISM in star formation. The ISM serves as the cosmic incubator for new stars. Under the influence of gravity, regions of the ISM can collapse, creating a dense core that heats up and begins to glow, birthing a star. What about nebulae, you may wonder? Well, these are the grand nurseries of stars. Nebulae are vast clouds of gas and dust within the SM, often illuminated by the stars they fostered. They're like the cradle of life, but for celestial bodies. In the vast emptiness of space, stars find their beginning and end. Beyond our solar system, on distant worlds, could life exist? From the depths of the cosmos, we've uncovered the existence of exoplanets, planets that orbit stars outside our own solar system. Some of these exoplanets are nestled within what we call their habitable zone, a uh, Goldilocks region not too hot, not too cold, but just right for liquid water, a key ingredient for life as we know it. Since the detection of the first exoplanet in the early 90s, thousands more have been discovered, a testament to our growing understanding of the universe. And within these multitudes, a select few reside within their star's habitable zone. Though we cannot yet confirm the presence of life on these distant worlds, the possibility alone is tantalizing. Imagine a world where alien skies unfold above alien landscapes, teeming with life forms beyond our wildest dreams, as we continue to explore and understand these celestial bodies, we draw closer to answering one of humanity's oldest questions. Are we alone? The search for life, it seems, leads us ever outward. In our universe, distances are so vast, they boggle the mind. Just consider this. Light, the fastest thing we know, travels at a speed of roughly 186,000 miles per second. Even at such a mind-boggling speed, it takes light about eight minutes to reach us from the sun, which is a mere 93 million miles away. Let's go further. The nearest star to us, Proxima Centauri, is about 4.2 light years away. That means the light we see from it today actually left the star over four years ago. Can you imagine? 
and our galaxy. The Milky Way is so large that it would take light a staggering 100,000 years to cross from one side to the other. That's a journey that defies comprehension. In the cosmic ocean, we are but a speck of dust. The cosmos, though distant, influences our home planet in more ways than one. Let's talk about space weather. Solar flares, those dramatic eruptions from the sun, can cause geomagnetic storms that interfere with our technology. Similarly, cosmic rays, high energy particles from deep space can impact our atmosphere and even influence our climate. Now consider meteor impacts. These celestial fireworks are more than just a spectacle. They've played a significant role in Earth's history, causing mass extinctions and shaping the geological landscape. And let's not forget about comets. These icy travelers from the farthest reaches of our solar system are believed to have brought water to Earth, essentially making life as we know it possible. So, you see, our existence here on Earth is deeply intertwined with the cosmos. From the sun's temperamental flares to the distant cosmic rays, from the falling meteors to the water-carrying comets, we are children of the cosmos shaped by its many phenomena. Our eyes in the sky, telescopes, have revolutionized our understanding of the universe. Among these, the Hubble Space Telescope stands as a beacon of exploration. Launched in the early 90s, Hubble has been our silent sentinel, capturing the universe in stunning detail. It has revealed galaxies in their infancy, observed stars in their death throes, and catalogued nebulae with an artist's precision. Yet Hubble is not alone. Observatories across the globe and in the far reaches of space, like the Chandra X-ray Observatory and the Spitzer Space Telescope, contribute their unique perspectives. Each captures a different piece of the cosmic puzzle, from the fiery dance of gamma rays to the cool whispers of infrared radiation. These telescopes, our cosmic windows, do more than merely observe. They allow us to journey across space and time, to witness the birth and death of stars, and to marvel at the intricate tapestry of our universe. Through these cosmic windows, we glimpse the universe's grandeur. Is there life beyond Earth? This is a question that astrobiology seeks to answer. Astrobiology, an interdisciplinary scientific field, bridges the gap between the biological and the celestial. Its mission? To explore the possibility of life beyond our blue planet. The search is not just for humanoid green aliens, but for the most basic forms of life, microorganisms. The red soils of Mars, our planetary neighbor, have been the subject of numerous missions seeking signs of past or present microbial life. In the icy moons of Jupiter and Saturn, Europa and Enceladus respectively, we look for life in oceans beneath their frozen surfaces. These moons promise an environment that could potentially support life, making them intriguing targets for future exploration. The search for extraterrestrial life, however, is more than just finding aliens. It helps us understand the conditions for life and our place in the cosmos. The search for life is a journey of discovery and the universe is our uncharted map. Astrophysics, the study of the cosmos, helps us understand the laws that govern the universe. This branch of science is our compass, guiding us through the vast expanse of space, unlocking secrets that have been shrouded in mystery since time immemorial. Astrophysics sheds light on enigmatic phenomena like dark matter and dark energy, elusive entities that, despite being invisible to our eyes, shape the universe in profound ways. About 85% of the universe's mass is dark matter, yet it remains undetectable. Dark energy, on the other hand, is thought to be driving the accelerated expansion of the universe. Astrophysics also elucidates the life cycle of stars, from their fiery birth in nebulae, to their death in spectacular supernovae, and the subsequent formation of neutron stars or black holes. It unravels the evolution of galaxies, tracing their journey over billions of years. Through astrophysics, we begin to unravel the mysteries of the cosmos. It's a testament to our quest for knowledge and understanding, a journey that's as infinite as the universe itself. Journey with us as we delve into the cosmos to explore the birth and death of galaxies. In the vast expanse of the universe, cosmic giants known as galaxies are born. These colossal structures, home to billions of stars, take shape from humble beginnings. They arise from ethereal clouds of gas and dust scattered across the cosmos, which slowly coalesce under gravity's relentless pull. As these clouds condense, they give birth to new stars, their bright lights illuminating the dark corners of the universe. Stars are the building blocks of galaxies, their fiery bodies forming a glittering mosaic against the cosmic backdrop. Each star, 
a swirling mass of plasma engages in a continuous process of nuclear fusion, creating heavier elements from lighter ones. This process releases tremendous energy which we perceive as the star's warm, radiant glow. But galaxies are not static entities, they are dynamic, ever-evolving phenomena, locked in a cosmic dance of creation and destruction. As stars age, they eventually exhaust their nuclear fuel. The fate of a star is determined by its mass. Some explode in spectacular supernovae, their violent death seeding the universe with the elements necessary for life. Others, however, collapse into themselves, forming incredibly dense objects known as black holes. And what of the galaxies themselves? Their life cycle is also dictated by the laws of the cosmos. Some galaxies, through gravitational interaction, merge with others to form larger structures. Others may be torn apart by the same forces, their stars scattered across the universe. Yet others may slowly fade away, their stars dimming as they exhaust their nuclear fuel. This then is the story of galaxies. Born from the primordial gas and dust of the universe, they live out their lives as vibrant, dynamic structures, teeming with stars. They then face their eventual death, either transforming through mergers and interactions, or fading away as their stars burn out. Thus galaxies, much like life itself, have a beginning and an end. As we traverse the universe, we encounter mysteries that remain unsolved in astrophysics. Our journey takes us through the shadowy realms of dark matter and dark energy, concepts that, while critical to our understanding of the cosmos, remain largely elusive. Dark matter, an unseen substance, makes up about 85% of the universe's mass, yet despite its prevalence, we are still seeking ways to detect it directly. Dark energy, on the other hand, is the mysterious force driving the universe's accelerating expansion. Its nature and origins baffle even the most brilliant minds. Lastly, we venture into the enigmatic world of black holes, celestial bodies so dense that not even light can escape their gravity. But what truly happens inside a black hole? What lies beyond its event horizon? These enigmas push the boundaries of our understanding and remind us of the vastness of the universe. Gravity, the unseen force, plays an integral role in shaping the universe. It's the silent puppeteer pulling the strings behind the magnificent cosmic ballet. Imagine for a moment a universe without gravity. Stars, galaxies and black holes simply wouldn't exist. It is gravity that pulls together the cosmic dust and gas, compressing it to form stars. These stars, in turn, group together, their collective gravity creating galaxies. But gravity's influence doesn't stop there. It shapes the orbits of planets around their stars, giving us the familiar structure of solar systems. It also governs the violent dance of binary star systems and the death spiral of matter falling into a black hole. Gravity even plays a part in the grandest structures of all galaxy clusters. These monstrous cosmic agglomerations containing thousands of galaxies are bound together by the irresistible pull of gravity. Gravity, though invisible, holds the universe together. From the grand scale of galaxies, we zoom in to the formation of solar systems. Within the vast cosmic theater, a spectacle of creation unfolds from a seemingly innocuous cloud of dust and gas, known as a protoplanetary disk. As gravity pulls this material together, the dance of formation begins, spinning and heating up until it sparks the birth of a star at the center. Around this newborn star, remnants of the protoplanetary disk continue to whirl and collide, gradually coalescing into planetesimals. Over millions of years, these planetesimals collide and merge, growing into full-fledged planets. Their gravity clears their orbit, sweeping up remaining debris and defining their place in the solar system. But the story doesn't end here. Even after a solar system forms, it continues to evolve. Planets may migrate, changing their positions over eons. Comets and asteroids, the leftovers of the formation, still roam these systems, occasionally providing spectacular celestial shows. Every star we see in the night sky could potentially have its own family of planets. Let's venture beyond our universe and into the realm of the multiverse. The multiverse hypothesis suggests that our universe, with all its galaxies and celestial bodies, might just be one of many potentially infinite universes. This mind-bending concept is supported by various theories. One such theory is the many-worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics, which proposes that each quantum event creates a new universe. Another theory is the inflationary multiverse. 
It suggests that during the Big Bang, different regions expanded at different rates, leading to separate universes. Then there's the string theory multiverse, proposing that different universes are created through the vibrations of string-like entities in higher dimensions. Now, these theories are all fascinating and continue to push the boundaries of our understanding. However, it's important to remember that they remain theories. They're yet to be proven or disproven. Could our universe be just one of an infinite number of universes? Now we steer our course towards the groundbreaking discovery of gravitational waves. Like ripples spreading out when a stone is thrown into a pond, gravitational waves are disturbances in the fabric of space-time caused by some of the most violent and energetic processes in the universe. These celestial waves were first proposed by Albert Einstein in his general theory of relativity over a century ago. But how can we detect these invisible waves? Enter LIGO, the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory. LIGO is not just one, but two observatories located thousands of miles apart in the United States. They contain long tunnels at right angles, and a laser beam is split and sent down these tunnels. When a gravitational wave passes by, the length of one tunnel shortens while the other lengthens, causing the laser beams to go out of sync. Gravitational waves opened up a new way for us to observe and understand the universe. Let's turn our attention now to the small but significant bodies of our solar system. Meteoroids, asteroids and comets. Born from the primordial material that formed our solar system, these celestial objects are fascinating remnants of our cosmic history. Meteoroids, the smallest of the trio, are typically fragments of asteroids or comets that have broken off. When they enter Earth's atmosphere and burn up, we see them as shooting stars. On the other hand, asteroids, often termed as minor planets, are made up of rock and metal and predominantly reside in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. Comets, the icy travelers of our solar system, originate from its farthest reaches, sprouting spectacular tails as they approach the Sun. Not merely celestial showpieces, these bodies have had profound impacts on Earth, from causing mass extinctions to possibly seeding life-sustaining water. These celestial wanderers have played a crucial role in shaping our planet and possibly life itself. The Sun, our very own star, has a profound impact on our solar system. This luminous ball of hot gases is the gravitational anchor of our cosmic neighborhood, keeping the planets, asteroids and comets in their respective orbits. It's a celestial ballet choreographed by the Sun's immense gravitational pull, but the Sun's influence extends well beyond gravity. The Sun also emits a steady stream of charged particles known as the solar wind. This solar wind shapes the magnetic environments of the planets and can even drive atmospheric loss on planets without protective magnetic fields. And let's not forget solar radiation. It's the sun's light and heat that makes life possible here on Earth. It's also responsible for phenomena like the beautiful auroras we see near the poles. Without the sun, there would be no life as we know it on Earth. The sun's gravity, solar wind and solar radiation are the unseen forces shaping our corner of the cosmos. The universe operates on a time scale that is almost unfathomable to us. Imagine a film that runs for 14 billion years. That's the age of our universe. If we were to compress this into a single year, the Big Bang would burst into existence on January 1st, and it would take until September for our solar system to form. Dinosaurs would roam the Earth in the last week of December, with human history occupying the final seconds of New Year's Eve. These cosmic timescales vast beyond our everyday comprehension are the heartbeat of the universe. They guide the birth and death of stars, the formation of galaxies and the evolution of the cosmos. Yet they also remind us of our fleeting existence in the grand scheme of things. We use these timescales to decipher the universe's past, present and future. In the grand cosmic clock, our entire history is but a blink of an eye. Finally, Let's acknowledge the instruments that make our cosmic voyage possible, telescopes. These remarkable tools are the eyes through which we gaze into the vast expanse of the universe, unlocking the secrets of the cosmos. From Galileo's early refracting telescope to Hubble's space-based observatory, these instruments have revolutionized our understanding of the universe. Telescopes have allowed us to peer into the distant past, observing galaxies billions of light years away. They've enabled us to discover new planets like the seven Earth-sized exoplanets orbiting the star TRAPPIST-1. 
They've unveiled the mysteries of black holes, supernovae, and dark matter. Moreover, telescopes have fundamentally altered our perception of our place in the universe. From our humble abode on Earth, we've been able to observe the vast cosmic landscape, understanding that we are but a small part of an unimaginably large universe. Through the lens of a telescope, we gain a window into the cosmos. Embark with us on a journey through time as we explore the historical perspectives on astronomy. Since time immemorial, the celestial bodies have captivated human curiosity. Our ancestors, the ancient Egyptians, built grand monuments aligning with the stars, while the Greeks gave us constellations, immortalizing their myths in the night sky. The Chinese, with their meticulous record-keeping, gave us some of the earliest written accounts of comets, novas, and eclipses. The Mayans, too, were master skywatchers, their calendars intricately interwoven with celestial cycles. Fast forward to the Renaissance, Copernicus and Galileo challenged the geocentric view, turning our gaze towards a heliocentric universe. This paved the way for Newton's laws of motion and gravity, and eventually, Einstein's theory of relativity. Today we observe the cosmos through sophisticated telescopes, unraveling the mysteries of black holes, dark matter and distant galaxies. As we have seen, the study of the universe has been a shared endeavor of humankind throughout history. Transition now from history to a pressing modern concern, space debris. It's the silent saboteur of space, a swarm of defunct satellites, spent rocket stages, and fragments from disintegration and collision. This buzzing cloud of cosmic clutter poses a significant threat to both manned and unmanned space missions. Imagine a tiny piece of metal, no larger than a cherry pit, hurtling towards your spacecraft at speeds of up to 17,000 miles per hour. The damage could be catastrophic. To combat this, space agencies worldwide are continuously tracking over 22,000 objects in orbit. Efforts are also underway to develop new technologies to clean up the space environment, such as nets, harpoons or even robotic arms to capture and deorbit the debris. The issue of space debris, therefore, is a significant one that space agencies worldwide are working to solve. The cosmos may be vast, but we must ensure our activities don't turn it into an interstellar junkyard. Venture now to the outermost regions of our solar system, where we find the Oort Cloud and the Kuiper Belt. These cosmic neighborhoods, located far beyond the orbits of Neptune and Pluto, are home to a myriad of icy bodies and remnants from the early solar system. The Oort Cloud, a theoretical sphere of icy objects, is thought to be the birthplace of many comets. Meanwhile, the Kuiper Belt, a donut-shaped region, is known for its dwarf planets, including the famous Pluto. These regions play a significant role in our understanding of the solar system's formation and evolution. The icy bodies they contain, uh, often referred to as cosmic fossils, provide valuable insights into the conditions of the early solar system. They also hold clues about the presence of organic molecules, potentially shedding light on the origins of life. These remote regions of our solar system continue to intrigue and challenge us as we strive to understand the universe. Shift your attention from the macro to the micro as we delve into the realm of astrochemistry. The universe, vast and infinite, is composed of myriad elements. However, hydrogen and helium, born in the Big Bang, make up a staggering 98%. The remaining 2% is composed of heavier elements, created in the fiery crucibles of stars. Astrochemistry is the science that explores these chemical elements and their interactions in space. It's a detective's work sifting through cosmic clues to understand the life cycle of stars and the formation of planets. Through spectroscopy, we can identify the spectral fingerprints of elements from the iron in a distant star to the water on Mars. Yet, the universe is not just a cosmic soup of elements, it's a dynamic, evolving entity. Stars are born, live and die, each stage marked by chemical transformations that shape the universe. Astrochemistry, therefore, is a vital field in the quest to comprehend our universe. Consider now a pervasive and potentially harmful aspect of space, cosmic radiation. Cosmic radiation, in essence, is high-energy particles traveling nearly at the speed of light. These particles originate from various sources, the sun, distant stars, and even cataclysmic events like supernovae. This radiation permeates space, making it a constant companion on our journey through the cosmos. 
The effects of cosmic radiation are not to be underestimated. For astronauts, prolonged exposure can lead to health complications, from radiation sickness to an increased risk of cancer. For spacecraft, cosmic radiation can damage electronic equipment, compromising the integrity of the mission. In light of these challenges, scientists and engineers are working tirelessly to develop innovative shielding technologies and strategies. These range from using water as a radiation barrier to designing spacecraft materials that can absorb or deflect these high-energy particles. The impact of cosmic radiation is a crucial consideration in the planning and execution of space missions. Ponder with us now the ultimate fate of the universe. This grand cosmic mystery has beguiled us with numerous theories, each as intriguing as the last. First, we have the Big Crunch. This theory posits that the universe, after expanding for billions of years, could reverse course and collapse back in on itself, causing everything to merge into a singular point of infinite density. Next, the Big Freeze, a more chilling proposition. It suggests that as the universe continues to expand, it will eventually reach a state where all stars burn out leaving behind a dark, cold cosmos. Finally, the Big Rip. In this scenario, the universe's expansion isn't just ongoing, but accelerating. Eventually, the fabric of space-time itself could tear apart, ripping galaxies, stars, planets, even atoms into oblivion. While these theories may seem daunting, they are part of our ongoing quest to understand the destiny of the universe. Descend now into the realm where the very small meets the unimaginably large, the intersection of quantum physics and cosmology. It's an enthralling journey, where the principles of the quantum physics hold the keys to unlock the secrets of the cosmos. At the dawn of time, just moments after the Big Bang, the universe was a hot, dense state where quantum phenomena dominated. By examining this early epoch, we can understand the initial conditions that set the stage for the cosmos we observe today. Then there are black holes, those enigmatic cosmic entities that defy our understanding. Their event horizons serve as laboratories for quantum gravity, where space and time are twisted to their extremes. Here, cosmology, the study of the universe on a grand scale, and quantum physics, the study of the smallest particles, intertwine in a dance of discovery. The fusion of quantum physics and cosmology is a vibrant and exciting field that promises to revolutionize our understanding of the universe. Journey now to our neighboring planet Mars and the exciting possibilities it presents for exploration and colonization. Mars, the fourth planet from the Sun, has been the focus of numerous missions in the past few decades. The recent Mars rover missions have provided us with incredible insights into the planet's geology and climate. As we look to the future, the upcoming Mars Sample Return Mission promises to deepen our understanding of this red planet. But it's not just about exploration. The potential for human settlement on Mars has sparked imaginations worldwide. Concepts of self-sustaining colonies, complete with agriculture and industry, are no longer the stuff of science fiction. Companies like SpaceX are working tirelessly to make this a reality, aiming to establish a human presence on Mars within the next decade. The exploration and potential colonization of Mars represent a thrilling new frontier in our cosmic journey. Let's marvel now at some of the unique and awe-inspiring features of our own solar system. Among the most striking of these is Saturn's ring system, a celestial ballet of ice and rock particles orbiting the gas giant. This delicate spectacle, extending over 200,000 miles across, is a testament to the gravitational dance that shapes our universe. Then there's Jupiter's Great Red Spot, a storm larger than Earth itself. This crimson cyclone has been swirling in Jupiter's atmosphere for at least four centuries, a testament to the immense energy and dynamic weather systems of the largest planet in our system. And let's not forget the captivating blue-green swirls of Neptune's winds. Some of the strongest in the solar system or the towering Olympus Mons on Mars, a volcano three times the height of Mount Everest. These features remind us of the beauty and diversity of our own cosmic backyard. Finally, let us journey to the large-scale structures of the universe, including the mysterious Great Attractor. This gravitational anomaly, situated in the intergalactic void, has been pulling our Milky Way and countless other galaxies towards it for billions of years. Its origin and nature remain one of the greatest puzzles in astronomy. While the Great Attractor is the most notable, it's not the only large-scale structure of the universe worth mentioning. 
Galaxy clusters, collections of hundreds to thousands of galaxies bound by gravity, dot the cosmic landscape. These clusters often group together to form superclusters, creating a vast cosmic web of matter, dark matter, and energy. The study of these structures is vital in understanding the universe's evolution and composition. From the enigmatic Great Attractor to the majestic superclusters, they offer a glimpse into the universe's past, present, and future. The study of these large-scale structures brings us closer to understanding the grand design of the universe. Imagine a universe teeming with life, ecosystems thriving beyond our blue planet. Welcome to the realm of astroecology, a field that explores the potential of life beyond Earth. It's not just about little green men or science fiction, it's a serious scientific endeavor that seeks to understand the conditions required for life as we know it to exist. Astroecologists ask, what elements are necessary for life? Water, energy and certain chemicals are among the essentials. But it's not just about the ingredients, it's about the recipe, the right conditions that can bring these elements together to create life. From the icy moons of Jupiter to the methane lakes of Titan, astroecology opens up a universe of possibilities. The search for extraterrestrial life is not simply a quest for aliens, it's a search for understanding our own place in the cosmos. Astroecology, an intriguing field, paints a grand picture of life's possibilities throughout the cosmos. Nebula clouds, the cosmic nurseries where stars are born, these vast gaseous expanses are more than just picturesque. They're the cradle of star formation. Nebula clouds, primarily composed of hydrogen and helium, along with traces of heavier elements, play an essential role in the birth of stars. Picture this. Within these nebula clouds, pockets of gas and dust become denser under the force of gravity. As these pockets collapse under their own weight, they heat up, sparking a process known as nuclear fusion. This is the very heart of a star's life, the engine that powers its radiant light. But it's not just about the birth of stars. The heavier elements within these clouds, the remnants of long-dead stars, are vital for the creation of planets, moons and even life itself. Yes, the elements that make up our bodies were once part of a nebula cloud, the birth of a star, a cosmic event of unparalleled magnitude. Space, no longer the final frontier, but a destination for the adventurous. Over the past few years, we've seen a remarkable surge in space tourism and commercial space exploration. Companies like SpaceX and Blue Origin, founded by visionaries Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos, respectively, are leading the charge. Their mission to make the cosmos accessible for everyone. SpaceX, with its Crew Dragon spacecraft, offers trips to the International Space Station, while Blue Origin's New Shepard takes passengers on suborbital joyrides. Virgin Galactic, helmed by Sir Richard Branson, is also in the race, offering weightless experiences to tourists aboard their spaceship too. The experiences they offer are otherworldly, literally. Imagine floating weightlessly, seeing Earth's curvature against the inky blackness of space or walking on the Moon's surface. It's not just a journey to space, it's a journey into the unknown, the uncharted, the extraordinary. Space tourism opening the cosmos to all, one ticket at a time. Astrogeology, the key to unlocking the secrets of alien landscapes. This fascinating field combines geology with astronomy, giving us insights into the geological history of other planets. Astrogeologists study the composition, structure and history of planetary bodies, including their moons and asteroids. They're like detectives, looking for clues in the rocks and dust of distant worlds. Recent discoveries have been nothing short of extraordinary, from the icy plains of Pluto to the towering volcanoes of Mars. Each new finding paints a richer picture of our cosmic neighborhood. Ongoing research, such as NASA's Mars rover missions, provide invaluable data, helping us understand not just what these surfaces look like, but how they came to be. Every crater, mountain and valley tells a story, a tale of cosmic forces at play over millions, even billions of years. Astrogeology, decoding the stories written in the dust of alien worlds. Space weather, a silent yet potent force shaping our daily lives. This isn't the weather we're accustomed to with its predictable patterns of rain and sunshine. No, space weather is a cosmic dance of solar flares and cosmic rays born from the heart of our sun and flung out into the vast expanse of space. These solar flares, intense bursts of radiation can wreak havoc on our technology. They can disrupt satellites, interfere with GPS signals and even cause blackouts. 
Imagine for a moment an entire city plunged into darkness, not by a storm or a faulty power line, but by a silent, invisible force from the sun. Yet, it's not just our technology at stake. Cosmic rays, high-energy particles from distant galaxies can impact biological systems, potentially affecting everything from our health to the evolution of life on Earth. Space weather, an unseen hand shaping our world from afar. Uh, beyond the realm of giants, the dwarf planets hold their ground. At the edge of our solar system, beyond Neptune, lies an intriguing world, Pluto. Once considered the ninth planet, Pluto, now classified as a dwarf planet, continues to captivate us. Our knowledge of this icy frontier has been transformed by the New Horizons mission, which provided us with our first close-up views of Pluto and its moons in 2015. The mission revealed a complex and active world with towering ice mountains, vast nitrogen glaciers and a sky tinged blue by its thin atmosphere. Beyond Pluto, in the Kuiper Belt, countless other dwarf planets await exploration. These celestial bodies, often overlooked, hold vital clues about the early solar system and the processes that led to the formation of planets. Indeed, as we push the boundaries of exploration, we are reminded that size isn't everything. Dwarf planets small in size, yet colossal in their contribution to our understanding of the cosmos. Space and time, two sides of the same cosmic coin. When we delve into the mysteries of the universe, we invariably stumble upon the enigma of space-time, a four-dimensional fabric that binds all of existence. You see, space is not simply a void, and time is not a relentless march forward. They are intertwined, inseparable. Like a cosmic dance, they move and weave together, dictated by the mass and energy within them. Consider gravity, our familiar force, a cosmic puppeteer of sorts. It bends space-time, sculpting the universe and steering the paths of celestial bodies. The denser the object, the greater its gravitational pull, the more it warps space-time. This is the foundation of phenomena like black holes, entities so dense they create bottomless wells in space-time from which not even light can escape. Space and time, an intricate dance at the heart of the cosmos. Quantum entanglement, a curious phenomenon with cosmic implications. This fascinating concept is rooted in the world of quantum mechanics, where particles become inextricably linked, regardless of the distance between them. When one entangled particle is affected, its partner reacts instantaneously, as if they share an invisible, unfathomable bond. This puzzling aspect of quantum theory has profound implications for our understanding of the universe. It challenges our notions of space and time, suggesting that they might not be as fundamental as we once thought. Could it be that our universe is built on a hidden layer of quantum entanglement? Moreover, quantum entanglement could hold the key to unifying quantum mechanics and general relativity, the two great pillars of modern physics. If we can unravel this mystery, we might be able to make sense of phenomena such as black holes and the origins of our universe. Quantum entanglement, a puzzle piece in our quest to understand the fabric of reality. Our magnetism, a force that shapes the cosmos in unseen ways. It might be invisible to the naked eye, but its influence is far from subtle. Magnetism plays a crucial role in the formation of stars, manipulating the gases and dust within nebular clouds to create stellar bodies. But its touch reaches even further, affecting the behavior of entire galaxies. Consider our Milky Way, its spiral arms, those grand cosmic brush strokes, are guided by magnetic fields. Even the supermassive black hole at the heart of our galaxy is wrangled by these unseen forces. Beyond this, magnetism shapes cosmic rays, those high-energy particles that journey across the universe. It even plays a part in the breathtaking auroras that light up our polar skies. Ongoing research continues to uncover the depth of magnetism's cosmic role. Space telescopes equipped with magnetometers aid in this exploration, peeling back the layers of this fascinating field. Magnetism, a silent sculptor of the cosmic canvas. Space observatories and satellites, our eyes in the cosmic ocean. These remarkable tools have propelled us to new frontiers, illuminating the mysteries of the universe and deepening our understanding of the cosmos. From the Hubble Space Telescope capturing breathtaking images of distant galaxies to Kepler hunting for exoplanets, we've been able to peer into the vastness of space and time. Observatories like Chandra and Fermi have unveiled the high-energy universe, revealing black holes, neutron stars and gamma-ray bursts, phenomena that were once mere theories. 
Satellites, on the other hand, have given us unprecedented views of our own planet, tracking weather patterns, monitoring climate change, and aiding in navigation and communication. These instruments perched above the Earth's atmosphere, free from terrestrial limitations, have made key discoveries possible. They've shown us that we are but a tiny speck in a vast cosmic sea, yet integral to its fabric. Space observatories and satellites are gateways to the cosmos. Imagine being bombarded by high-energy particles from outer space. That's what astronauts deal with on a daily basis. These particles, known as cosmic rays, originate from energetic events in the cosmos. Supernovae, or exploding stars, are one such event, propelling atomic particles at nearly the speed of light across the universe. Cosmic rays aren't just an abstract space phenomenon, they present a real and tangible threat to astronaut health. Exposure to these high-energy particles can lead to a range of health complications from acute radiation sickness to long-term effects like cancer. To protect astronauts, we employ sophisticated shielding technologies. These include materials like lead and polyethylene, which can absorb or deflect these rays. Yet these measures aren't perfect, and the threat of cosmic rays remains one of the significant challenges in human space exploration. So, as we can see, space travel isn't just about hopping on a spaceship and taking off. There are cosmic hurdles to overcome. In the grand scheme of things, we're all just tiny parts of an enormous cosmic web. Imagine a universe-spanning network of galaxies bound together by the force of gravity. This is the cosmic web, an intricate tapestry of matter that stretches across the vast expanse of the cosmos. It's not just a grand display of celestial beauty, but the framework that shapes the universe as we know it. The cosmic web plays a crucial role in the formation and distribution of galaxies. It's a bit like the universe's blueprint, guiding the birth and growth of galaxies and clusters along its intricate lines. Why is this important? Because understanding the cosmic web helps us comprehend the structure of the universe, how galaxies evolve, and even the distribution of dark matter. It's a cosmic roadmap of sorts, a testament to the interconnectedness of all things. The cosmic web is the backbone of the universe, a testament to the interconnectedness of all things. Space is a visual spectacle and, thanks to astrophotography, we can capture its beauty from Earth. This art and science of photographing celestial events infuse us with a sense of wonder and curiosity. With a telescope and camera in hand, astrophotographers capture the cosmos, revealing the universe's infinite beauty. Astrophotography goes beyond merely capturing stunning images. It's a way to understand the cosmos better. It's a tool that allows us to peek into the distant galaxies, nebulous gas clouds and twinkling stars. From the ethereal northern lights to the majestic rings of Saturn, astrophotography brings the cosmos to us, making the infinite universe a bit more tangible. Moreover, astrophotography is a testament to human ingenuity and our thirst for knowledge. It's a bridge between the known and the unknown, the seen and the unseen. It's about exploration and discovery, all from the comfort of our home planet. Through the lens of astrophotographers, we get a glimpse of the universe's grandeur without leaving our home planet. Ever wonder how it all began? The Big Bang Theory gives us some answers. This theory posits that our universe originated from a singularity, an extremely dense and hot point around 13.8 billion years ago. A massive explosion or Big Bang propelled all matter and energy outward, marking the beginning of space and time. But how do we know this? Well, the most compelling evidence comes from the Cosmic Microwave Background, or CMB. The CMB is the afterglow of the Big Bang, a faint radiation permeating all of space. Discovered accidentally in the mid-20th century, this radiation is remarkably uniform, but with tiny variations that give us a wealth of information about the universe's early moments. The cosmic microwave background is like the universe's baby picture, a snapshot of its infancy. It's a testament to our cosmic origins, a silent echo of the moment when everything we know came into existence. Gravity, the force that keeps us grounded, also plays a significant role in the cosmos. Imagine gravity as a vast cosmic sea. When massive objects like black holes or neutron stars accelerate or change direction, they create ripples in this sea, much like a stone tossed into a pond. These ripples, my friends, are what we call gravity waves. Now, 
These waves are not visible to the naked eye, but they carry with them crucial information about the cataclysmic events that created them. They can travel across the universe undisturbed and unaltered, providing us with a unique glimpse into the very heart of these celestial events. But their influence goes beyond mere observation. Gravity waves can cause minute distortions in space-time, affecting the movement and position of celestial bodies. They subtly shape the universe, influencing the orbits of planets, the formation of galaxies, and even the trajectory of light itself. Gravity waves are the universe's silent movers, shaping and influencing the cosmos in ways we're only beginning to understand. Scene script, space, the final frontier, but exploring it is no easy feat. As we venture beyond our home planet, the challenges we face are monumental. We're not just talking about the technical difficulties of designing spacecraft capable of these immense journeys. The human body and mind are also put to the test. One of the most significant hurdles is the effect of microgravity on the human body. Extended periods in a weightless environment can lead to muscle atrophy and bone loss. This means that astronauts must undergo rigorous physical training both before and during their missions to counteract these effects. Radiation is another formidable enemy. Without the protective shield of Earth's atmosphere and magnetic field, astronauts are exposed to high levels of cosmic radiation. This can lead to a myriad of health issues, from cancer to damage to the central nervous system. The psychological challenges are no less daunting. Imagine being confined in a small space millions of miles from home with the same small group of people for months or even years on end. The strain on mental health can be immense. NASA and other space agencies are continually researching ways to mitigate these effects, from carefully selecting crew members to providing mental health support. Then there's the issue of resources. On Earth, we take for granted the availability of essentials like air, water and food. In space, these must be carefully managed and recycled. Even a small miscalculation can lead to disaster. Finally, there's the unknown. Despite our best efforts and all the advancements in technology, space remains a mystery. Unexpected challenges will arise. It's not a question of if, but when. Yet, despite these challenges, we persevere. We push the boundaries of our knowledge and capabilities. We dream, we innovate, we explore. It's in our nature as humans. Space exploration is a testament to human resilience and determination, a journey fraught with challenges but filled with untold rewards. Our universe is a magnificent enigma filled with phenomena that continue to astound and perplex us. From the origins and impact of cosmic rays on astronaut health, we've seen how space exploration is not only about venturing into the unknown, but also about safeguarding those who dare to go where no one has gone before. The significance of the cosmic web reminds us that everything is interconnected in this grand tapestry of existence, a concept beautifully captured through the lens of astrophotography. We've delved into the Big Bang Theory and the cosmic microwave background, pondering the origins of our universe and the echoes of its birth that still linger today. The influence of gravity waves in space has shown us how even the seemingly empty void is alive with invisible forces shaping the cosmos. We've looked at the challenges of human space exploration, a testament to our enduring spirit of discovery and our determination to push beyond the boundaries of our home planet. The search for exoplanetary atmospheres and the impact of solar wind on them has given us a glimpse into the potential for life beyond our solar system. Stellar nuclear synthesis has shown us that we are all quite literally made of star stuff, while the role of magnetic fields in celestial bodies has further underscored the dynamic and complex nature of the universe. In drawing together these threads, we see a universe that is far more intricate, far more fascinating and far more beautiful than we could have ever imagined. It's a place of ceaseless wonder and infinite mystery, a place that invites us to explore, to learn and to marvel. If you've enjoyed this cosmic journey and can't wait to delve deeper into the mysteries of the universe, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. We've only scratched the surface of our cosmic adventure and there's so much more to explore. Until next time, keep looking up.